Please welcome the technical officials for the first three matches. Thank you. 
ready to play? A very warm welcome here to the second round of play in uh, Yonex Denmark Open Premier Super Series 2014. You're watching uh, live coverage of uh, court number two. And uh, the first match we've got for you today is uh, a very interesting match with two players who created uh, smaller upsets yesterday here in the pink jersey. Jung Bei Wen of the United States and her opponent from Thailand, Busanan Ongbong Rumpang. Busanan defeated uh, the number six seed Jung Joo Bei in the first round yesterday. Right. Straight games, Bung very Thailand. impressive uh, performance by the 18-year-old girl Bung from uh, Thailand. USA. Currently ranked. 21 in the world, has been as high as uh, 15, Play. and her opponent, Bei Wen Jung, defeated uh, Su Ying Tai of um, Chinese Taipei, hard fought, three setter, Service over. came back from one game down, one love. And uh, Jiang is really uh, an informed player. Two, Coming five. here to uh, Denmark with uh, three straight victories in the back. First she won on home soil in New York. The US Open One, Grand Prix gold. Two. Went on to Brazil, won the Grand Prix there and arrived in Europe one week ago where she won the Dutch Open. So very, very impressive form from the American girl. And she's currently ranked number 15 in the world. Two, all. First time the two players are meeting each other. No three, two former matches. But of course Four, both players two. full of confidence after Clearing the first round here in uh, Unter. Uh, very, very short lift from uh, Busanan. And quickly punished by um, Three, Jung Bei Wen. Point lead here in the beginning of um, the first game for Busanan. 
who already won her first Grand Prix Gold tournament when she was only 16 years. She won the Malaysian Grand Prix Gold, and of course, one of uh, four or five very, very capable five, six. players from uh, Thailand. Of course, Ratchanak Intanan, the world champion of 2013, the most famous of them. But uh, very, very strong training environment. Busanan, Ratchanak, Horn Chip, and uh, Nichon Jindapong. Service just to over. mention a few. Seven, five. She has been struggling a bit though in um, 2014. Best result is um, quarterfinal in uh, Six, seven. the Indonesian Premier Super Series. Unfortunately, it had to withdraw from uh, the World Championships here in uh, Copenhagen. skills excellent play there by um, John Bay went eight all Eight apiece here in the um, first game in that sense that um, both players are still settling in. Looking a little bit nervous, uh, the American girl. Service over. Two-point lead Nine. for uh, Jiang Bei Wen. Going into the interval here in uh, the first game. As we can see. Now here's the replay. As we can see, Jiang Bei Wen not making use of uh, any coaching here in the interval. Originally Chinese born, but uh, came to Singapore in uh, 2003 under the Foreign Sports Talent Program, practiced with the Singapore Badminton Association and uh, represented Singapore for uh, 11, a number nine. of years. But um, eventually 
Service over. Decided to Ten, move to seven. USA. Was suspended a number of times uh, from the practice in um, Singapore and had a couple of disputes with the coach then, a former international from China, Luan Jin. In 2011, she decided that uh, she would uh, move to the States and represent them. It's been a good mood move so far. 10, 11. Ranked number 15 in the world. Excellent drop shot there. Very, very nice Service touch. Over. 12, 10. Excellent drop shot, so she's executing. Jiang Bei Wen generally likes to play a lot to the front court. Very often play the front court. It takes away the opponent's opportunity of uh, attacking you. And so far we've seen play. that she almost only plays the back court from uh, her own part of uh, her own forecourt. Front court, Zhang Bei went. Service over. 11-14. Service over, 15, 11. Service over, 12, 15. All good. 13, 15. Sharp drop shot again. It helps to control the rallies. 
concept of shut there. Service over. 17-14. Busanen having a hard time seeing whether it would be a cross drop or a straight shot from uh, Zhang Beiwen. Excellent deception. I really love um, uh, short service returns, or rather the returns on the short services, because uh, sometimes she puts it long, but using the backhand and often with a little bit of, of a deception on it. 18, 15. Um, Zhang Beiwen shows her that Anything you can do, I can do better. Three point lead here in the later stages of the first game. 19 15. Just very, very accurate with uh, the shots to the front court. The American girl. And game point 15. Sets her up with um, five game points here. 21-15. Game. And there it is. The first game. First game won by Zhang Bai Wen. Zhang Bai Wen of the United States, 21-15. And after a tight first part of uh, the game, she took control in the second part and uh, really displayed some uh, lethal drop shots here. And definitely Busanen has uh, got to cope with that. In my opinion, she's forced to um, move her. On the fire coach. Okay. Position on the court a little bit forward in order to make some uh, quality returns on these very, very efficient drop shots from uh, Zhang Bei Wen. Second game, love all, play. Second game here, interesting to see if um, Busanen can uh, One, come back from uh, being a game down. And uh, one of the most important things is how can she cope with uh, the shots to the front court from uh, Jung Bei Wen. Just long. Service over. One all. Service over. One. Deception again from uh, Busanen. Service over. Two. All. That could be one of the ideas to try to start attacking a bit more herself in order to prevent Zhang Bei Wen from uh, doing it. Three, 
It's one of the first drop shots that we've seen her miss. Well, actually, perhaps a block would be more appropriate. Great deception there. Over. I mean, Three, all. It's really hard for uh, both players to get an advantage of uh, their short services. Look at that deception, but very, very lucky for uh, Zhang Bei Wen. Just touched the net cord and three. went over. Service over. Four, all. Turn from uh, Busanan on, on that um, smash Five, from Zhang Bei Wen. The smash is not intended uh, to win the rally in any way. It's just intended to sort of keep her in control of the rally. And the turn was very high and actually too long. Six, four. So Zhang Bei Wen continuing where she finished the first game. Leading 6-4 here in the second. Drop shot Service here over. from uh, Busanan. So important to Five, seven. get the drop shots close to the net, both horizontally and vertically. Preferably, it should land um, before the first double service line. Yeah, single service line too as well, actually. Six, seven. In order to get the opponent one step closer to the net and open up the court for the next shot. Over. Good retrieval Eight, on the front six. court there from uh, Zhang Bei Wen. A couple of nice drop shots from uh, Busanan. and still has a hard time uh, coping with the attacking style of um, Zhang Bei Wen. If this continues, um, another very good deception, but uh, Eight, nine. you should think that uh, Zhang Bei Wen would have read it by now because it very, very often goes to that corner. saying before she, she needs to find a way to cope with that Ten, attacking style nine. of uh, Zhang Bei Wen otherwise um, I fear 
4% and that this game will just be a copy of the first one. Service over. A couple of Ten. Oh. mistakes here from uh, Zhang Bei Wen. Yeah. It's 10 apiece here before the interval. That's well played, just on the line. Service over. And a one-point lead for uh, John Bay Wen. One break here in uh, the middle of the, the third game. Close. Sorry, the second Stop game. It. It. Next match coming up here on uh, court two is uh, mixed doubles. Home favorites, Mass Pila Colling and uh, Camilla Ritter-Yule. The world's tallest mixed double, playing uh, Kenichi Hayakawa and uh, Misaki Matsutomo. Coming up after this latest single. For two, 20 seconds. And for two, another mix after seconds. that one. Another Danish pair, Joachim Fischer Nielsen and Christina Pedersen against uh, Ki Jung Kim and uh, Kim So Young of uh, Korea. So stay tuned here on uh, court two for Play. all the action from Yonex Denmark Open. Service over. Eleven all. Service over. 12, 11. Great attack. Down the line from uh, John Bay Wen. 11. She's returning to the same corner. 14, 11. At least 80% of the time on the short services, uh, Busanan. And that's the thing that uh, the top players quickly Service pick up upon. 12, 14. Facing the winner of uh, top seed Li Shurui against uh, Japanese uh, Sayaka Takahashi. The match that is uh, played 16, on court three, and there's 13. no courage, unfortunately, of uh, that court. Four-point lead now for Zhang Bei Wen. And this was where she made her move in the first game as well. Service over. 14-17. There's a couple of um, mistakes sneaking in, but... Um, if that gives her the possibility of uh, controlling the game for the rest of the so rallies, well. then that's okay. 18, and again, 14. defense from uh, Busan and that it's not okay. I mean, it's not a big, big smash, it's just a controlling smash. And 19, 14 lead 14. now. Just two points away from 
entering the quarterfinal. It's now or never for uh, 15, Busanen 19. if she wants to stay in the tournament. Great rally that was. Perhaps the best rally of um, the match. 20, match point 15. Zhang Pei went. 2015 ahead and uh, five match points for the American girl. Service over. Busan and survived that one. 20. Very convincing performance so far by uh, Zhang Pei Wen. Still got three match points left. And there it is. That's yeah. wide, and uh, Zhang Pei Wen is through to the quarterfinals after a victory against the uh, Busanan Ongbong Rongpan. Straight games, 21-15, Nice shoes from the umpire there. And here we have the decisive rally. Quite a bit wide actually we'll be back shortly with uh, the next match here on court two the mixed doubles Please welcome. 
Welcome back here to our live coverage of uh, court number two at the Yonex Denmark Open Premier Super Series 2014. 
this uh, second round match in uh, the mixed doubles between Kenichi Hayakawa and Misaki Matsutomo of um, Japan against uh, Camilla Ritter Yule and Mas Pila Kaling from Denmark. Very, very impressive uh, performance yesterday hey, from uh, Hayakawa and uh, Matsutomo. Beating uh, the four seats, Chris and uh, Gabby Atka, 21-19, Hayakawa, 28 years of age, and his uh, partner, Misaki Matsutomo, only 22 years old, currently ranked uh, number 21 in the world, but um, has been as high as uh, number 12. Hasn't played a lot of uh, mixed doubles tournaments uh, this uh, year. Best um, results are from the um, Japan Open, where they lost in the semi-final. Calling in uh, you. Defeated uh, Mohamed Rial and Vita Marisa in a One. thriller in the first round. 22 20 in um, deciding game. Two. Nice calling. 26 years of age and uh, Camilla Ridevule, the more experienced part in that mixed double. Just turned 30. Results from the Danes. This year is a uh, silver medal at the, the European Championships. Lost to training partners Joachim Fischer Nielsen and uh, Christina Pedersen. The Danes have uh, had a number of uh, tough draws in their partnership. Started playing together after Thomas Leiborn retired following the uh, 2012 yeah. London Olympics. Over. Four, one. Of course, um, it's a whole different playing style. If you compare Mass Colling and uh, Thomas Leiborn, Thomas Leiborn, very agile, very powerful, um, Jumps and often oh. hovering around at the net while Camilla Yule was uh, firing oh. smashes from oh. the back court. But uh, this pairing plays a very, very different style of mixed doubles where favorite position is uh, clearly Mess Colling at the back court and Camilla Yule at the net. So you would definitely had to develop um, Three, some uh, five. additional skills or better her skills at the net. And of course, Miss Colling getting used to playing at this high level. Played by uh, Hayakawa here, and this is what uh, the Japanese are really, really good at: strong in uh, the flat game, very good movement. So it's four call here. Struck above the waist. So 
Danes, of course, uh, looking to get the control of the rallies using their powerful attack. Seven. Oh. And uh, avoiding these uh, quick flat game exchanges. Japanese on their side, of course, uh, not willing to uh, Seven. be that much in uh, in the defense, so they will also try to to control the game. So a lot of emphasis on the service situation. Service over. That flicker Eight. from Hayakawa oh. was caught long. rally so far and the match and uh, one point lead for Matsutomo and uh, Anakawa you can see the Japanese did a good job of uh, moving the two tall Danes there excellent flicker from uh, Matsutomo from uh, Misaki Matsutomo, giving the Japanese a uh, three-point lead. 11-8 going into the first interval. on both sides focusing on how to manage the service situation of course the Korean sorry the Japanese pair got a vastly experienced coach Park Jopong perhaps the world's best ever all-round player and a very very successful coach in Japan as well just won the Thomas Cup for the first time ever There. Oh, that was lucky. It was uh, almost a missed shot. But uh, hit the frame of uh, Camilla Yu's racket. Very, very nice rally and. Uh, Good start for the Danes here after the interval, taking three straight points. <laughs> Clever play from uh, Hayakawa here. 11. I think we normally have seen some of the Japanese players uh, wanting to use speed in that situation. from uh, West Colling. Wow. Oh. Looked almost like a 
Multi shuttle exercise. Smash in one side. One well, step jump oh. to the other side and then back again. That's of course an enormous reach. 203 centimeters tall. Very powerful smash when uh, 13, he's allowed the time. Gains one five of the of the last six rallies. Two. That stayed on 13, the wrong side. Four. Playing well right now. Two tall Danes. 16, 13. Afraid of uh, being lifted, but uh, wisely stay close to the net. No. 18, 13. It's now 10 2 since the interval for the Danes. Totally change of. Uh, Events, that's too steep. 6 game points for the Danes. They've really done well here in the later part of uh, the first game. Totally got their game together. The right strategy. And there it is. Convincing win here in uh, game 1. 21-14.
throw and put it on the other side of the board. Yeah. Caught two, 20 seconds. Caught two, 20 seconds. Caught two, 20 seconds. Interesting to see if the Dane can uh, continue in the same style as uh, the first match, the first game. Excellent coverage of the net here by uh, Camilla Yu. Japanese are a little bit late on the um, on the front court here. They're constantly playing from a little below the tape, and that makes life so much easier for the Danes. Not the same amount of possibilities in every stroke. Smash was three one coming down from uh, approximately three and a half meters height with the arm and the racket and 203 centimeters of height. It's suspect around three, three and a half meters. Touch here from uh, Kenichi Hayakawa. Another powerful hammer from. Uh, Mass calling. Four, two. Play. This is exactly how the Danes would want the rallies to go. Five, in two. control and if in defense, then they would much prefer that uh, Misako Matsutomi is doing the smashes. Nice touch by Mas Kaling. And uh, Matsutomo a little late on, on the front court on the net. But of course, if you have an opponent uh. that powerful as uh, Mass Calling, then you perhaps want to take a step backwards. Service over. Three, 
in order to be able to return the attack. And that's, of course, what the Danes are looking to utilize by playing a lot of uh, drop shots as well. I think um, there's a lot of mixed double combinations in the world that can actually uh, hold the defense if they continue to lift to uh, Mass Calling and uh, Camilo Ridoyo. Simply too powerful, and the Japanese needs to come up with a plan for that. Got to get the control back in the rallies. Got to play some fast-paced flat game and. Some blocks at the net. Nine, I can understand four. why she's bowing down there. That's a tumult. for the Danes, taking a 11-5 lead going into the interval here in the second game. And they've been in control actually since um, the interval in, uh, in the first game. Retrieval there from Colling and finishes it off. Call to 20 seconds. Call to 20 seconds. Park cannot really be satisfied with the way this match has unfolded. Yule and Colling currently ranked. Um, as number 20 in the world has been as high as 17, but actually I think 11, uh, they uh, are a little bit better than that. They have, uh, as I mentioned earlier, had a lot of uh, tough draws against uh, Indonesian pairs and Chinese pairs, and they actually have a record against European pairs that is uh, quite Five. exceptional. They have Five. a positive record or a tie against all European pairs. Now this is um, called good here, and, and it looked 12, a bit dodgy play. from where I'm sitting, but I must say that the line judges are having uh, clearly the best position. However, we saw yesterday that um, there were a number of uh, challenges from uh, Chen Long when he was playing local hero Victor Axelsen, and. Uh, all the challenges were actually uh, successful, and that's a bit worrying um, for uh, the line judges, uh, if not, say, embarrassing. Thirteen-five, and uh, I can't really see the Japanese pair coming back into this match. Winners of um, this match here will 13. play Tontori Amat, uh, Liliana Nazir. 
the number four seeds in this tournament. They already won their match against uh, Kai Lu and Huang Yachong of uh, China. And right now it looks like uh, the Danes are about to set up uh, an appointment with the, the former Indonesian world champions. Called good. Nice try. I was just thinking that uh, Hikawa, he can't just block all these shots there because it's too easy readable for the Danes. He needs to play some flat drives to the backcourt, but um, wasn't really able to control the shot here, and it was way long. Excellent play by Maspila Colling. Staying in control in the rally. It's interesting that it hasn't been possible for the Japanese um, team to sort of uh, find a, a mixed double that. Um, is working that has the same level as uh, they have in men's doubles and, and ladies doubles. Number of uh, very, very skillful doubles players. It's just not really working as well in the mixed as in the... Men's and ladies doubles. Nice little steep smash here from uh, Mas Colling. Extremely well, the two Danes, and uh, probably feel that they might as well take another game if the Japanese want to play one more back in the uh, training hall here. When you get into this zone, it's so fun playing badminton. <laughs> this one was called out, <laughs> and uh, Jobong Park is. Uh, Showing a thumbs up for uh, line judge. <laughs> I think actually uh, this was more in than uh, the last one that was called out. Inside the lines. 13, 18. Would it 
advise the Danes to not let the Japanese get any closer. Oh, that was lucky. Uh, good work from uh, Kenichi Hayakawa. Had a smash that uh, hit exactly uh, where Kimura Yu was holding her racket. I think she was actually just trying to get out of the way. so dangerous when she's uh, coming rushing from the 19, back court or mid court towards the net just two points away from a quarter final berth Match points for the Danes. 20, match point 14. Six opportunities to enter their first ever quarterfinal here at the uh, Yonex Denmark Open. And there it is. Two very happy Danes in the picture. Victory in uh, straight games. 21-14, 21-14, and a very, very uh, convincing performance. Match one by Mass Pila calling for Mida Buddha Yule. 21-14, 21-14. That means Thank that uh, Thank you. they're playing uh, Tantori Amat Liliana Natsir in tomorrow's quarterfinals. We'll be back here from uh, court two in a short while with uh, another mixed doubles. Ki Jung Kim, Kim Soo Young of Korea against uh, number two seeds, Joachim Fischer Nielsen and Christina Pedersen. Yeah. 
We're in the mix zone with the Danish mixed double, Camilla Rutterhjul and Mads Peel are calling, and an extraordinary win. How do you feel after this game? Yeah, it was a good win for me and Camilla. Uh, we get it going uh, right after 11 in the first set. thought we started a bit maybe nervous or slow, but from, from there we, we controlled the game and it's, it's, a, it's a nice feeling. What did you change? 13 all in the first set and from there on you're just like controlling the game. Uh, actually, we didn't change anything. Uh, it just didn't succeed from the beginning, and then it just started to succeed uh, after that. So, so we have the plan to, of course, have the attack because we have a, a really hard hitter. So, of course, we wanted to have the attack, and it succeeded. And you play a Japanese couple who's just about the same ranking as you on the world ranking. How important is this win for you? Uh, it's an important win. Uh, no matter who we beat, uh, but yeah, we haven't played them before. We uh, I don't think we have played Japan before, so so it's a new uh, new tactic for us. But uh, yeah, we managed that and grab a solid uh, win. And now Lilian Natsir and uh, Tontovia Matt back from injury, looking very sharp. What do you think about that game? Uh, I just look forward to to play tomorrow. Uh, I think uh, it's important now for us to to enjoy this win because it's one of our best matches. Uh, yeah, in our career, so we have to enjoy, but of course we also have to look forward for the match tomorrow, and it's going to be difficult. Of course, it's it's a really strong couple, but we have our first win uh, still to come, so hopefully it will be tomorrow. Good luck, thank you very much. We're back here on uh, court number two with our live coverage from Yonex um, Denmark Open Premier Super Series 2014. Now on court, we have um, Ki Jong Kim from uh, Korea, together with his partner Kim So Young. They're playing. Uh, Danish uh, world bronze medalists and Olympic medalists, bronze medalists as well. Joachim Fischer Nielsen and Christina Pedersen. The two pairs have uh, met on one occasion in Thailand Open 2012, where the Danes won in um, straight games. Kijun Kim, 24 years of age, whereas his partner Kim Soo-young is uh, 22. The Korean pair is currently ranked uh, 29 in the world, has been as high as uh, number 20. Entered this second round by uh, beating the siblings from uh, Ireland, Sam McGee and uh, Chloe McGee. And um, part of the explanation in uh, the uh, low ranking is that um, Ki Jong Kim was um, suspended for a period of time, of, together with uh, actually Lee Yong Dae, 
after failing to uh, report his uh, whereabouts to the international uh, doping agency. Suspension that was um, later lifted. The best result of uh, 2014 is actually this one, being in the second round. They haven't uh, survived any um, first round matches uh, so far. And on my left, Joachim Pischenilsen and Christina Pedersen. Only played uh, five tournaments. The Danes beat uh, Peter Kespauer, Isabel Hertrich right. yesterday in uh, straight games and uh, currently ranked number two in the world, the highest ever ranking. And very, very motivated to uh, sort of revenge their performance by um, at the World Championships. They, they got a bronze medal, but um, were not really satisfied with the way they uh, performed and uh, had hoped to uh, go one, at least four. one step further. That was not to be, but um, they've said they, they want to prove themselves in this tournament here, and uh, it'll be interesting to see oh. what level they are at at the moment here. The issues for Joachim Fischer is uh, at the sometimes Two, dodgy service, oh. and uh, we saw it here in uh, the picture that it's actually <laughs> illegal. He makes two movements towards the uh, the shuttle, and uh, the thing is that he's rarely called for it. But, um, it's not always as uh, solid and stable as uh, you could wish. It's just the opposite for his partner, Christina Pedersen. One of the very best servers in uh, the Super Series circuit. Excellent interception from uh, Joachim Fischer. have had a quite good um, <coughs> season winning the India Open uh, Super Series the Indonesia Premier Super Series and um, bronze medal at the Worlds and, and the first ever gold in the European Championships for, um, for Joachim Fischer in the uh, destination Dubai rankings and uh, has number six, seven and eight pairs in, in those positions. They've all uh, left uh, Jonix Denmark Open already in the first round, so looks set to secure the qualification for uh, the season ending finals set uh, this year to be played in uh, Dubai. from uh, Christina Pedersen. Uh, 
Excellent return here from uh, Joachim Fischer. Jong asking the uh, Norwegian umpire a question about uh, Joachim Fischer's service. <laughs> of course, this opens up for a uh, discussion that um, is going on regarding the double services. Uh, we can see here that. Uh, Clearly, Joachim is uh, not serving a legal service, but is not called. So, the question is, how do we get more consistency in uh, the umpiring, especially regarding the short services in doubles? And a uh, five-point lead for the Danes here. Going into the first interval, joined by Coach Jesper Larsen. There by um, Joachim Fischer outmaneuvering Kim So Young. We're ready for the second part of the uh, first game here. can uh, ask questions uh, going into the uh, Facebook side of the Batman's in Denmark and uh, ask your questions there. Best question uh, of the day wins a signed uh, Batman's in Denmark t-shirt. And uh, there's a question from Raj Dean. It says why there is no live streaming for court one and three. And um, I actually don't know why there isn't a uh, live stream from uh, Court 3. I'm, I'm pretty sure there is for, for Court 1. Um, at least for, for betting purposes, several betting companies are, are uh, offering live odds in-game betting on, on Court 1 and 2. And um, I'm pretty sure that at least one of the uh, companies um, are showing live pictures. As for court three, I'm, I'm not sure whether it's an economical uh, issue or uh, rights holder issue, and or just feel that there's not enough interesting matches to to fill three courts all the time. Okay, 
can also uh, use uh, Instagram. Show us your best celebration picture. Instagram hashtag live stream YDO. Yonix Denmark Open live stream YDO. Still in uh, contention here in the first game. Nice drop shot there. Discussions, of course, regarding this um, suspension due to missing whereabouts for uh, Ki Jong Kim and uh, Lee Yong Dae got lifted because it uh, was investigated that it was actually the Korean Badminton Association who had uh, missed the reports, and um, that's been. A matter of um, discussion in many forums. Anyway, we've got both Lee Yong Dae and uh, Ki Jung Kim back in the international circuit. But uh, right now they're in uh, dire straits here in the first game, trailing Joachim Fischer Nielsen and Christina Pedersen by seven points. Terrible service return from uh, Kim Soo Young. Fisher's racket is making two movements towards the shuttle. Just a little deception <laughs> before he hits it, and that's not allowed. Chai Yun of uh, China did the same for a while. I'm not sure if he still serves in the same way. It makes the flick serve very, very efficient. Too short though. Still nine game points left for the Danish pairing. to Pedersen and uh, Fischer, 21-11. First game won by Joachim Fischer-Nielsen and Christina Pedersen, 21-11. Det 
Jeg er ikke sikker på, om han rammer den på fjerne samtidig, eller hvad det er. Nej, det er konstruerende. Now we can actually hear the uh, umpires discussing uh, the services. Uh, Danish umpire, the service judge Eric Kjert says he's not sure whether he hits uh, the feathers at the same time. I'm not sure whether he's referring to Joachim Fischer or Ki Jung Kim. Second game underway here. One love. Excellent return there from uh, Kim. Service over, three, all. Great service return from uh, Christina Pedersen, sets her partner up for these. Taking shots. match coming up here on uh, court two is uh, Chen Ho Wei of China against uh, Chen Min Yuan of uh, Vietnam. Then Ma Jin and uh, Xu Chen against uh, Sukamatsu and uh, Keiko Sonoda of uh, Japan and uh, we'll be back with the uh, live commentary for the women's doubles with uh, Pia Bernadette and uh, 
Rishki Pradipta against uh, Yu Yang and Wang Xiaoli. Here as we see Christina Pedersen take the fifth point of this second game. service in the doubles this is the best opportunity of uh, controlling the rally oh. missed it in the middle of the net he jong kim his partner soyon kim said it up for him beautifully, but um, somehow was able to miss it. We were discussing in the last match that um, Japan has not been able to produce the strongest of mixed doubles, even though they are strong in both the women's department, women's doubles department, and the men's doubles department. And the same goes a little bit for for Korea. They have lacked the absolute top mixed doubles since um, Lee Hu Jung retired. One, of course, the Olympic gold medal in mixed doubles in 2008, together with uh, Lee Yong Day. There is some some um, good pairings from Korea. Ko Sung Yoon, Hana Kim, from time to time, play really well. And um, yeah, we've also seen Lee Yong Day play mixed double with uh, various partners, but uh, I've not been able to really challenge uh, the top four pairings in the world or perhaps top three pairings because actually the Danes here Joachim Fischer, Christina Pedersen, they have some losses uh, against Korean pairs um, Shin Baek Chol playing the mix but in my opinion they haven't been able to find um, the right uh, combination or perhaps they don't have the female player that also has the ability to kill it at the net. They're very, very strong in the backcourt, in the defense, in the flat game. But Nine, they need six. to kill it at the net. The ability to read the game at the net, that's what is uh, lacking at the moment in the, in the Korean mixed doubles. They have some promising players, in my opinion. Hyun Wong showed some really good skills last year's uh, World Championships before she was injured. And also, um, another uh, player, just forgot her name, I'm just checking. Uh, Shung Chun Shin played with uh, Lee Young Day yesterday uh, last year, and uh, I think it looked promising. But she actually had the required um, skills at the net, the ability to to read the game well and, and to finish off the rallies from the net, but um, not playing together with uh, Lee Young Day anymore. Service over. 
<laughs> Joachim Fischer praising his uh, partner for a very, very good service. So uh, you can deduct from that that he is quite unsatisfied with his own choice of uh, shot. Nice service return from Christina Pedersen and uh, the Danes have a three point lead here as they're going into the interval and uh, Ki Jong Kim is trying out a few services and they didn't work really well either. So struggling a bit. Uh, too high and good deception from uh, Christina Pedersen just twist her wrist in the, the nick of time. Initially showing a straight return, but changing the grip and making a cross return and leaving the Koreans in the middle of the court. This match is playing uh, the winners of um, Liu Yuchen and uh, Yu Lu. They're playing against uh, Ricky Vidianto and uh, Richie Dilly on the course next to this on court three. And uh, the Indonesian pairing has just won the first game 22 20. very upbeat about his uh, partner's performance. It shows what uh, we were discussing in the beginning of this match that the Danes are really motivated in this tournament. They want to show that they can play better if not win the tournament they can at least play better and, and challenge the uh, two Chinese pairings that are top seeded as well as oh sorry um, this uh, Zhang and Zhao of course uh, top seeded Joachim and Christina seeded second so uh, Shu Chen Ma Jin seeded third and then Amat Natsir Plays as uh, the number four seats in this tournament, and those are the three pairs that uh, the Danes like to compare themselves with. Oh! Felt that uh, in the World Championships they were not really challenging these three other strong pairs, but uh, trying to hold off their own chases. The young Indonesian pairings in the mixed doubles, the Koreans. The Adcocks. So want to prove to themselves that uh, they're still compatible as far as winning tournaments. It's long for the Koreans and Eight point lead for the Danes now. I've spoken to a number of the Danes and, and they admit that the pressure of uh, playing world championships on uh, home soil surprised them. It was a lot different than playing a world championships in another country in Europe or in Asia. Excellent shot from uh, Ki Jong Kim. Quick Nine, flick of the. Wrist, so efficient that shot.
Last chance for the Koreans, I think, to make a comeback. Need perhaps three or four points now. To get within striking distance. Oh, that's a brilliant play. And this is uh, the Joachim Fischer that we're used to see. Joachim Fischer that we like to see. Very, very animated. Showing his emotions. It's often just more appealing to the audience, these emotional players. You could say it's a bit unfair, but um, 12, 17. it's just more interesting. And the question is, should you then show more feelings on court if you're not really comfortable with it? Not in my opinion, you should try to be yourself, but um, you just have to accept that uh, <laughs> this kind of display and performance is a little bit more appealing. Simply gives us, 13, outside the court, a bit more to talk about, a bit more to discuss. I know at least that when I was coaching, I, I really tried to to get the players to stay within a very small, narrow box of concentration. Tried to get them to not be too sad and not be too happy, not celebrate too much. And uh, if I could do it over today, I would do it in a completely different way. The thing is that you're, you're nervous that they won't come back, that they won't be able to focus in uh, the next rally. So that's actually what the practice should be about. The ability to refocus instead of uh, trying to control your emotions, because that's not really possible in my experience. Good. Very well placed in uh, the left corner of the court. The Danes two points Nine away from uh, quarterfinal berth. They were the favorites coming into this match, but um, they've been very, very convincing so far. As for the Koreans, we must say that uh, we can see why they've lost in the um, first round all this year. Still lacks a bit to be challenging the best in uh, this category. shows the intensity. 14, 20. Seven match point. Still, Joachim Fischer is fighting, trying to retrieve this almost impossible shot from uh, the Koreans. Not backing down in any way. And get support from the audience, which is starting to arrive here in uh, Sports Park Odense, where it's... Uh, Early afternoon, and there it is. A good victory for the second seeded Danes. 21-11, 21-14. They can definitely uh, take some self-confidence from, from this match. Didn't take it lightly in any way, and Joachim Fischer 
thanking the audience. The last rally in replay. Joachim Fischer, 35 years of age, enjoying every minute of uh, this tournament. Hopefully, they'll be ready in a short while down in mixed zone for a quick interview. And that's what's coming up next. After the interview, we have a men's singles, Chen Hu Wei playing uh, Chen Min Yuan. And uh, a live commentary will take a short break now and be back with uh, women's doubles. Indonesia against China. So stay tuned here for uh, our live coverage of um, court number two. We'll be back shortly with uh, the interview with Joachim Fischer and Christina Pedersen. Hi and welcome to the Mix Zone. I'm standing here with Jürgen Fischer and Christina Pedersen who just booked their tickets for the quarterfinals. Hi, congratulations on your victory. What are your thoughts of the match? Um, we played really good today. I think uh, we, we knew uh, the Koreans, um, we, we were prepared and I think we, we did a really good job today. Yeah, you have now played two very good games uh, here in the tournament. What are your thoughts? Uh, of, yeah, it has been quite easy for you. Pretty easy yesterday. Was, uh, the first round was easy. I don't feel the, the match today was easy. The Koreans were, were struggling, but we found our, our best game, so so we won uh, pretty easy. But it was still a, a tough match, and now we look forward for the quarterfinals tomorrow. Yeah, but you're playing really, really good. What's your secret? <laughs> we we're playing fast today, uh, faster than the Koreans, and and I control the net. Uh, Almost uh, all the match, and, and Fischer did a really good job uh, in the attack game, and and I think that made it difficult for them to 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 find the the way to to play us. Yeah, how are you feeling in the arena here okay, with the home crowd and all? Are you feeling uh, comfortable? Yeah, of course we are. We, we won here three times, so 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 we love to come here to to Wolves and play this tournament, uh, and uh, we will give our best, and uh, and hopefully we can make a good result. Thank you.
ready to play. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Tin Min Guyan, Vietnam. On my left, Tian Ho Wei, China. Tin Min Guyan to serve. Bravo! Play! Service over, one love. Service over one three. Service over, 4-2. Seven, two. Eight, 
two. server 11-5 interval. Seven five play. Tennis over, 6-11.
seven, eleven. Eight, eleven. Service order, 12A. Please welcome the technical officials on floor number three. Thirteen, twelve. Service over, 13 all.
14, 13. Sixteen, thirteen. Service over, 14, 16. Sixteen. Right. Service over, 17, 16. Eighteen sixty. Nineteen sixteen.
20, game point 60. Game won by Tian Huawei 21 16. Score two twenty seconds. Score two twenty seconds. Second game. Level play. Service over. One, four.
service over. Five, two. Service over. Three, five. Service over. Six, three. Service server, four, Five, eight. Service over nine six. Service over seven nine.
Service over. Ten, seven. Seven seven interval. For two twenty seconds, for two twenty seconds. Eleven seven play. Service over. Eight, twelve. Service over. Thirteen eight. Fourteen eight. Service server, 914. Service over. 
Service over room, 10, 15. Seven fifteen. Send us over, 16, 12. Seventeen twelve. Eighteen twelve. Nineteen twelve. Match point 12. Service over, 13, 20.
Match won by Tian Ho Wei, 21-16, 21-13. Second officials on court number two.
Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Keigo Tsunoda, Shizuka Matsuo, Japan. On my left, Shishen Majin, China. Majin to serve to Keigo Tsunoda, Lavo, play. Oh.
Seven. Okay, stay on court. Eleven, seven, play. Go.
seven, fifteen. Game point, 14. Game. Third game of my season, margin, 21. Fourteen.
lige før. Vi vil nok gerne skifte. over one all
over. Nine, three. seconds for two twenty seconds over.
Matwa Magician, Magic 21, 40, 21, 9.
Welcome back here to um, the round of 16 matches. Here in uh, the fairy tale city of Odense at the uh, Yonex Denmark Open Premier Super Series 2014. We are ready for um, ladies doubles. With the back to the camera. We have um, Pia Bernadette, Risky Predipta of uh, Indonesia, their opponents. The formidable Chinese combination of uh, Yu Yang and Wang Shaoli. Yu Yang, Wang Shaoli, former world champions. Wang Shaoli has won the title three times in 2010 with former partner Du Jing and in 11 in London and 13 in Guangzhou with the current partner Wang Shaoli. Yu Yang also has a gold medal from uh, the Olympic Games in Beijing in 2008 together with um, Du Jing as well. Of course, as some might remember, this pair got uh, disqualified during the 2012 Olympic Games in uh, in London. Seven, seven. One, three. And, um, for a long, long time, undisputed best women's doubles pairing in the world uh, has fallen a little bit in the rankings and are now ranked seven in the world and actually only seated as number eight in this um, tournament here. Came into the second round by defeating a young Danish combination of um, Dita Subri and uh, Amelia Hertz. Quite easy in uh, two straight games yesterday evening. Whereas their opponents Pia Bernadette and Risky Predipta had to work a bit harder to get past the Japanese combination of uh, Shizuka Matsu and uh, Mami Naito winning 2-1 in games. Good interception there from uh, Wang Shaoli. Oh, that's wide. Excellent shot there by uh, Pradipta. Both Indonesian girls. Uh, Originally coming from uh, the Jaya Raya Badminton Club in uh, Indonesia. A club that has produced many world class badminton players. One of them is uh, the brother of um, Pia Sabadaya Benedet, Marcus Kido, the former world and Olympic champion in uh, men's doubles, and they're also playing the mixed doubles together here in this uh, Yonex Denmark Open. But um, actually, as I recall it, they, um, they lost yesterday. Against um, Sonora and Matsuda. Matsula, uh, whom we've just seen on this court, losing to Shu Chen and Majin. But Indonesian women's doubles uh, on its way up again after 
some years where we didn't really pay much attention to them. International badminton commentator Jill Clark predicted that to me one and a half year ago when uh, that prediction was uh, confirmed as the compatriots Mazwari and uh, Pauli Gracia took the gold medal at the recent Asian Games in uh, Incheon, Korea. Very, very surprising win and refreshing for uh, international women's doubles badminton that it's not all Chinese. Let's see what the two Indonesian players can do here. have their way we're gonna see a lot of rallies like this that one is just going along from uh, Pradip Top <coughs> young serving with the headband easily recognizable perhaps the best women's doubles player ever <laughs> and dominating with firstly Jing and then now Wang Shaoli, 28 years of age, and her partner Wang Shaoli, 25, exactly the same as uh, Pia Benedet, the youngster on the court is uh, Risky Amelia Pradipta, only 24 years old. An even start here in uh, the first game. I think over the last um, two years, the Indonesians have been focusing a lot of uh, getting their defense in place in order to withstand the attack from uh, the very physical, strong Chinese pairings and Korean pairings as well. And, and you might also take the Danish combination of Pedersen and uh, Yul into that equation. But here they're trailing with uh, three points going into the first interval. Stays inside.
Good white, uh, young. Normally, it's my opinion that uh, the best position for the Chinese is with uh, Wang Xiaoli at the back court. Very, very powerful smash. Recorded as the fastest female smasher in the world. Just ahead of um, Camilla Rodriguez. There from uh, Wang Shaoli, and she wasn't in a really good position. Indonesians cleverly tried to maintain control of the rally and uh, lifted with uh, quite a bit of pressure. Good defense by. Uh, Here's Sabadaya. Apparently using that name instead of uh, Bernadette. At least that's the one that's on her, the back of her T-shirt. Catching up again. But of course, we know the Chinese pairing is. Very, very solid. Doesn't make a whole lot of uh, unforced errors. Yeah, normally has the patience to wait for the good chance of attacking. Good attack there from uh, Yang Wang Shaoli. Very hard to turn it around for the Indonesians when uh, Wang Shaoli is uh, firing away her power smashes from uh, the backcourt. Just gone long. I was wondering if uh, that was entirely legal, that service. Looked a bit high, but uh, not in a really good position to judge it.
Great interception there from uh, Pia Sebadiah. Twice. Definitely the Indonesian women's doubles players have become more powerful during the last couple of years. Of course, there was a major revamp in uh, the Indonesian organization following the bleak performances at uh, the 2012 Olympics. No medals for Indonesia for the first time ever. And since then, especially the doubles department have been uh, improving. Now a two-point lead here for the two Indonesian girls. Good call by uh, Wang Xiaoli. The umpire tells the Indonesians to refrain from trying to influence the line judges. That's well played by Yuyang. Look at that rush. in between the two players and uh, sets up a game point for uh, Yu Yang and uh, Wang Xiaoli. And that's long and uh, the favorites, the eight seats, girls from uh, China. Take the first game with a narrow 21-19 win. talking about the Indonesian coach. I don't know what he did. Maybe he was uh, talking during the rally, but um, definitely the service umpire, service judge will be watching him. You're not allowed to speak while the rally is going on. In between the rally, you're free to talk as much as you want. Coaches quickly left. Chinese coach is, of course, uh, former world champion in uh, mixed doubles, Liu Yong. He used to play with uh, Gaffey, also a very, very dominant female doubles player from uh, China. Formed a fantastic partnership with uh, Gu Jun. Oh, no, didn't get entirely finished. Just another few remarks for clarification here. Must be a little bit devastating for uh, the two Indonesian girls. They were fighting so hard to try to come back. Had a 19-17 lead and then four easy points for the Chinese and uh, one game down. Called good. Here's Abdiah not really satisfied with that uh, line call. Out. Interestingly, both the Indonesian Seven. girls are Two. professionals. Yeah. They're not with the national team in uh, Jakarta. We can see that they've got the club name on uh, the jerseys. Jaya Raya was eventually uh, invited back into the national team after some good performances in 2012, but uh, rejected the invitation. It rather 
practice for themselves. there for the uh, young Three, oh. the young who following the disqualification from uh, the oh. Olympics stated that she was going to retire and um, luckily Seven. for uh, the badminton Four. world Three. the one of us the ones of us who loves uh, watching good ladies doubles that didn't happen. She came back a year after winning uh, the World Championship on home soil. Five, three. Oh. Hit that service under feathers, I think. The flight of the shuttle was uh, very irregular. See the Indonesians, they're not afraid of lifting to uh, Wang Xiaoli. And it's so important that you feel you have the defense to actually play all kinds of shots. If you feel that you're unable to defend against one of the player's uh, offensive shots, you put a lot of pressure on yourself trying to play precise shots all the time oh. Seven, four. I think we've seen a uh, quite a bit of uh, mistakes from uh, Wang Xiaoli here compared to when we've seen uh, the two Chinese girls at their best and uh, perhaps the Indonesian defense is putting some psychological pressure on uh, Wang Xiaoli. Excellent drop shot here. Very, very good choice. The, clearly the uh, Chinese combination still has the upper hand in the flat game. A good attack from Yu Yang, very well placed. Good coverage by uh, Wang Xiaoli here. Nine, oh. And as in the first game, it's totally even at uh, nine all.
mistake here from uh, Pierce of a diet. Not necessarily fond of uh, being on the back court. Two easy points gives the Chinese combination a two point lead going into the interval here in the second game. And remember, you can uh, ask questions on the Facebook page, facebook.com slash badminton DK. Best question of the day wins a signed T-shirt, signed badminton Denmark T-shirt. And if you're an Instagram user, you are welcome to show us your best celebration pictures. Use the hashtag LivestreamYDO. Tense on the course right now. Lots of uh, short rallies. <laughs> and even though it's quite even, I still feel that um, Yu Yang and uh, Wang Shouli has a gear more if needed. Attacking shots and uh, the point is Chinese. important uh, phase now for the Indonesian girls if they want to stay in this match th they really need to make something happen now <laughs> I 
that stays in. to agree with the, the line judge. And the Chinese with uh, the upper hand in this match at the moment. Three points away from uh, booking another quarterfinal spot. We've won the All England Open this year. Silver medal at the World Championship. Young and uh, Wang Shouli. That sets up uh, four match points for uh, Yu Yang and uh, Wang Shouli, the number eight seats in this uh, tournament. And there it is. Game. Victory in uh, straight games, 21-19, 21-16 for Yu Yang and partner Wang Shouli, setting up uh, An appointment in the quarterfinal with either Christina Pedersen, Camilla Ritter-Yul, or their fellow country women, Lu Ying and Lu Yu. That match is uh, to be decided later today. Next match coming up here on uh, court two is um, men's singles, Wan Song Ho of uh, Korea playing against uh, Kento Momota of uh, Japan and we'll be back with uh, that match in a short while.
Welcome back here to uh, men's singles. You're watching uh, live coverage of uh, Code 2 from the Onyx Denmark Open Premier Super Series 2014. Part of the MetLife Super Series. And uh, next match on is uh, on the opposite side, Song Wan Ho of um, Korea against. Um, the left-hander, Kenta Momota of Japan. Momota trying to get a revenge. Down 2 nothing in head-to-head uh, -head matches. But uh, results are dating back to 2009 and 2011. And uh, Momota was merely 15 and 17 years old back then. Now just turned 20. Currently ranked uh, number 16. The Japanese player has been as high as um, number 11. His best results of uh, 2014 were two quarterfinals in uh, Malaysia Premier Series and Australian Super Series, but um, of course, his most memorable achievement this year is uh, the win <coughs> in the World Championship for men's team, Thomas Cup. Japan won the title for the first time, and uh, Kento Momota won all his matches, played the second men's singles in the Japanese campaign, and uh, especially notably defeated uh, Du Pengyu of China and uh, in the final Chong Wei Feng of uh, Malaysia so very very instrumental in uh, the Japanese victory and on my right. qualified uh, for the second round by uh, getting revenge against uh, Nan Wei whom he lost to uh, in the first round of the world championships but uh, yesterday he turned the tables and took a 2-1 victory Someone who, 26 years of age, number seven seat here in uh, Odense, and also ranked number seven in the world, has been one spot better at number six. His best achievement this year is uh, quarterfinals at uh, the Yonex All England Premier Series and quarterfinal at the Worlds a couple of months ago here in. Uh, Copenhagen. This is the match I've been uh, looking really much forward to. The defensive style of uh, someone who against uh, Momota's. Um, Service over. Yeah, what star should we three. brand him? I think he can play a lot of different styles. Can be patient, but um, we can also see him be very much attacking. And the applause here is uh, court three, where Parupali Kashap has just uh, defeated 
Dionysos Hayom Rompaka of Indonesia. 22-20 in the deciding game. Three, all. Momota, the World Junior Champion of uh, 2012. One on uh, home soil in uh, Chiba in Japan. Four, three. On his way to that title, he, amongst others, beat uh, Victor Axelsen of uh, Denmark. And Japan also won the World Junior Team Championship. Nice deception there. Four. Oh. Text from uh, someone who five four. as if it's going to be a lot. Changes in uh, the nick of time. Broke a string. And that shot. One more turn. A lot of psychology in uh, in this match. Can someone ho hold off the attack from uh, Kento Momota? And if so, will that mean that uh, Momota has to change his style as well and play a bit more defense? Very nice quality in the shots of uh, someone ho.
Korea, of course, uh, very successful at the, the Asian Games where they won the team competition. Sun Won Ho played the first singles and they had great help from uh, the veteran Lee Hyung Il who played the third and decisive uh, men's singles. Now the focus back on the individual tournaments and uh, no doubt that uh, Sun Won Ho will be out to do well here in uh, Copenhagen. Got a bit of a favorable draw as uh, Lee Chung Wei has uh, withdrawn from this tournament. Winner of this match will play Shrikant K from uh, India in uh, the quarterfinals. Shrikant, of course, a strong player, but um, compared to playing Lee Chung Wei, I would still choose we can't any time. Just wide that smash from uh, someone who, and it's nine points apiece. Oh, well read by uh, someone who put his feet in position for that attack as soon as he'd played the second last shot. wide and uh, 11, 9, Korean takes a two-point lead into the interval. Court two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. And again, you can uh, show us Eleven, your best celebration nine. pictures. Play. Choose Instagram, hashtag livestream YDO. And if you have any questions, Ask them on the Badminton Denmark Facebook page. Facebook.com slash Badminton DK. Service over. 10, 11. Excellent rally here. 11, 
Someone Hawk decided to go for it. Cross court smash. Just outside the lines. Both players so far has been playing with uh, good quality. Excellent drop shot there. Really, really close to the net. And even if uh, someone who should um, retrieve it, as you would expect, the court is opened up immediately afterwards. Momota with the momentum. 11. Playing with uh, just enough patience. Very good shot quality. Going a little bit too hard for these 14, winners. 11. Someone who, after the interval, Play. actually he's lost all five oh. points since the interval. Now for um, Momota. Basically only covering three corners because that shot, that corner is very rarely played from uh, someone who played it twice in this rally and uh, very, very strong attack there. But, um, Definitely advisable to use all four corners of the court, otherwise it's too easy to read for the opponent. the more accurate of the two at the moment. And that, of course, gives great confidence. Oh. 
16. A little bit too short lift from uh, yeah. the Japanese. Momota here, still holding on to a three-point lead. Yes, uh, the first game goes into its deciding phase. Pressure on someone hold this one a little bit too short, but uh, I mean, if your opponent consistently goes for the attack here and makes mistakes, then just play the same shot over and over again. No need to change. 15-19. Drop shot and kill from uh, someone who. So important to look for the opportunity to kill it when you've played a good drop shot. Have to close the net. So the opponent are not capable of playing back at you there. Something that um, the Koreans have been noticing from uh, video anal analysis. He was moving really, really fast after that cross court attack. are not too satisfied here it comes impossible to see from our position uh, probably one that would have been challenged had this match been played on court number one Yeah. 
We have a question here from uh, Anna Rita Amarai. She writes, a lot of people think that left-handed people have more advantage against their opponents because normally we play more against right-handed people. Do you think that's true? And uh, I think, actually, Anna, you give part of the answer yourself. We're more used to playing right-handed players. 20, game point, 18. There's perhaps some shot combinations that are more efficient for left-handed players. Let's now see this game point for Kento Momota. Excellent rally there by both players, actually, but uh, someone who able to intercept, surviving the first game point. So the second one, that really the same sting in um, Momota smashes as uh, we see from uh, someone who cost him a few mistakes in the middle of the game, but uh, his uh, steepness is uh, getting the work done here. That's 20 all. Technical skills from Momota. Go! Lift, way touched the net cord and way became way too, too short. And now, game point for Songwan Ho. Brilliant play, and someone who takes the first game, 22-20, recovering after a sloppy start following the interval here where Momota took six straight points, but uh, someone who getting back and surviving two game points. Here comes the final rally. Excellent play. <laughs> Patient play from uh, someone who 
And that creates an error on uh, Momota's side. To get back to that uh, question from uh, Anna. A lot of players um, feel that, uh, for instance, the uh, sliced uh, drop from the forehand side is uh, an easy shot to make. And uh, for a left-hander to make that shot, it will be directed at the backhand side of a right-handed player. So perhaps a little bit more difficult for um, right-handed player to retrieve that shot it should be the same for the left-handed player and it is but of course as as you mentioned yourself it's um, it's a bit easier as left-handed players are more frequently playing right-handed players than the opposite way around interesting by the way is it to uh, to download one of these matches on um, on your computer and uh, watch it in, in quick time because you have the uh, possibility to to mirror the match and there you can see how it looks when uh, Momota plays right-handed and someone who plays uh, left-handed and it's actually quite interesting because um, I sometimes have a feeling that um, the left-handed players have uh, different or uh, more smooth technical skills but when you mirror it on the computer you can actually see that uh, it looks very much the same as a normal right-handed player here we have the smash from momota just outside the line Next match on uh, this court two will be the top seeds in uh, men's doubles, Lee Young Dae, Yo Young Sung, against the uh, Danish combination of Kim Astrup and uh, Anders Skurup. The match will not over. commence before 4.30 local Two, time. Three. So if it's this match we're watching now is finished ahead of that, we'll have a small break here, but um, I somehow have a feeling that uh, this might be a match that will need a decider. Wider. Again from someone who Excellent shot. 
from uh, Momota. Someone who moved quite far back from the net there. Somehow the Japanese player sensed it. Well, that's a terrible shot. Seven, three. From uh, someone who. Four, seven. I'm not sure he felt totally secure, but um, decided to let it fall and see what happened. A number of times we see players change their mind in the last minute and make it bad shot, lose the rally anyway, and they don't know whether it would have gone long or stayed in. This one is out. Five, seven. Interesting um, mistake here from uh, someone Hall because he actually had a lot of time. And I think sometimes it's a good idea for Momota to give someone Hall a lot of time on the backcourt. Let him figure out himself what kind of shot, what kind of attack he w wants to play. Shortlift from uh, someone who. Six. Ten six for Kenta Momota. Oh. Killed it in uh, two Six's shots ball. instead of one. Five point lead. At the interval here in the second game, you're watching live coverage of the uh, Yonix Denmark Open Premier Super Series 2014. <laughs> Remember, if you have a question, ask it on Facebook, Badminton DK. Best question of the day wins a signed t shirt from Badminton Denmark. We have um, pictures of you celebrating you. great victories. Use Instagram, hashtag livestream YDO.
Great net play from uh, Momota. Very alert on the front court. Wide. And as long as Momota has the correct length on his shot, very, very hard for uh, someone hold to score points. Now, six point lead. There, Momota tried to play too close to the net from a little bit of a bad position, and uh, it's very, very hard to be accurate from that far away from the net, and that gave someone hope the opportunity to play the tight net shot. Wide and short. sure it's really beneficial in the long run to play that close to the sidelines. Here, like 14. two boxes jabbing at each other, trying to look for the opportunity to get a good punch in. Wait. A couple of points more, and uh, someone who is back in within striking distance. This was one of the situations mentioned before. 15, You're thinking that uh, perhaps it will go long, but uh, here you deciding to take it anyway and end up losing the point. So you might as well have uh, gotten a clue whether to your judgment of uh, the situation was correct. And then four. Fifty. 
15, 10. That's a terrible shot from uh, someone who clearly had the upper hand in that rally and uh, went from uh, having the upper hand to having lost it. And it looked like uh, Momota is on his way to forcing a decider here in uh, this second round in singles. Both players at the moment qualified for the uh, destination Dubai finals in the middle of um, December. Someone who currently ranked fifth and uh, Kento Momota ranked seventh in the destination Dubai rankings where only results achieved in uh, Super Series, 12 MetLife Super Series tournaments counts towards that ranking at the moment that ranking is uh, number one Lee Chung Wei Chen Long second third General Jorgensen fourth Kenichi Tago who's not here in um, Odense then Wan Sun Ho Hans Christian Witting who's Kento Momota and Tommy Sugiato are the ones qualified for destination Dubai finals at the moment we know Tommy Sugiato is out of this tournament, lost in the first round yesterday against uh, Chien Hu Wei. And now on court number three, women's singles. 12, 17. We still have um, a player named Lin Dan. He's not within top 25, but um, I wouldn't count him out. If he can uh, produce a good run in the last four Super Series here. Excellent play. Very, very nice cross lock from uh, Momota. Both players seem to have come to terms with uh, a deciding game. Eight game points and only one needed. Kenta Momota. Taking the second game, 21-12. making the game score one all and uh, as he's offered advice from his coach Keita Masuda we'll take a short break and we'll be back with the deciding game here between Momota and someone who
Caught two, 20 seconds. Caught two, 20 seconds. Final game, love all, play. Well, one game to find out who is to play Srikant K of India in tomorrow's quarterfinal. You're watching uh, live coverage of uh, Court 2 from Yonex Denmark Open. <laughs> Momentum for uh, Momota. One, love. Had two game points in the first game. Ended up losing it anyway, but uh, very convincing in the second game. So can he continue? Can he maintain the control of uh, the game? Gonna go long. Good judgment by One. Momota and me. Of course, sometimes you see this as an unforced error from uh, someone who, but that's not entirely correct because there's a lot of psychology in it as well. The more Momota gets back in his defense, the more he's diving, the closer he is to even the smashes that are won by uh, someone who, the more psychological pressure he puts on his opponent and Sun will eventually feel that he has to place his shots very, very close to the line to get points. And that results in these uh, mistakes on the sideline. Oh, it's called in. Five, A good start for one. the deciding game for um, Kento Momota. Really promising play at um, the Thomas Cup Finals. And a disappointing World Championships, but um, could this be his breakthrough tournament? Tight that shot. Six. Almost got it back. One. But in the end, it stayed on the Korean side. 6-1, advantage Momota, here it is.
six, one. Bit of an impatient Six. shot there from uh, Momota. Wasn't ready to move to the next shot and uh, sort of overplaced it. And to be impatient against uh, someone who that is terrible. Interesting, I can't help thinking about Lin Dan playing his matches when he launches these uh, cross smashes from his backhand and if it's picked up then he of course is a little bit under pressure but uh, his return would then be a very very high lift Seven, to three. probably a cross lift to the back court so he gets himself time to get back in balance. Something that uh, a lot of the younger players could learn from. for rallies. Momota has put it wide. Excellent deception there. Catches someone whole wrong footed. now and now fifty eight minutes precisely stamina be a factor for any of the players I don't really think so we saw uh, in the Thomas Huber Cup finals that uh, Kenta Momota could uh, keep up with uh, Dupeng Yu rightly recognized as one of the players with the best stamina so misjudgment here Seven, nine. 
Very, very high lift from uh, someone who the motor was positive it was going to go long, but uh, that was not the case. There's the steep smash from oh. someone who not so powerful this time, but yet efficient. And that's the beauty of that shot. It doesn't have to be really powerful as long as it's quick and steep. Actually, it's more efficient if it's not powerful. And suddenly the lead of uh, Kintamomoto is gone. And he actually looks like Nine. he's going to lose this match oh. right now. Had a commanding 6-1 lead. But um, three easy mistakes on the sidelines have sort of gotten someone who started 9-0. This looks a bit like uh, Momota's match against uh, Nan Wei at uh, the World Championships. Confidence is gone. Two, two. Eleven, a two-point lead Eleven, for uh, someone who here as the players change sides at uh, the interval. And actually, winning 10 of the last 13 points. Also held an 11 point, uh, an 11 9 lead in the, in the first game. Squandered it with uh, six straight points to Momota immediately after the interval but came back to win that game then lost the second convincingly and uh, now trying to progress to the second round uh, sorry to the third round of this Yonex Denmark Open 2014 next match here on court two is uh, the top seats in men's doubles Lee Young Day Yo Yon Song of uh, Korea against the uh, young Danish combination Kim Astrup and uh, oh. Anders Skorup. Oh. It's at uh, half past four local time at the earliest. Now that was a change in speed from uh, Momota. Ten. for the Japanese to close the gap directly after the interval. Here we see it. Trying to play too close. Someone hope.
three straight points. For the 20 year old Japanese. Placed in the right forehand corner. This is easily going to be the longest match of the tournament. 65 minutes played so far. from uh, the Korean. Very efficient smash. Momota looked as if uh, he was unable to read the placement. Tent now. Momota, always a sign of uh, tension when the players are jumping up and down on the same spot. Trying to loosen up. Excellent smash there. Very well placed on the left hip of uh, someone who. Very powerful smash there from uh, 14, Momota. 15. Gets a little too much time in the forehand side. He's got a very, very strong attack. Shot from uh, the Korean. Momota returned it, but uh, easy kill for someone who still keeping a two point advantage.
17, what an excellent rally on this time of the match. Water stretches, but uh, not enough to get that return over the net. Another mistake at the net for uh, Momota. Looks like uh, someone hope will be able to pull this off anyway. Korean side. Great smash from uh, Momota. Directed at the body of uh, someone who seems like a very, very good strategy. someone who and once again I mean it probably a bit better off letting it fall just lost it two shots later Nineteen sixteen. Deception there. So, so. Very patient attack from Bronson um, Hall. And that sets him up with uh, four match points, four opportunities to qualify for the quarterfinals. Great cross shot there. Not as powerful as, as uh, we'd expect, but uh, leaves it up to Momota to judge the speed in the return. Here comes the first match point. Get and there go. it is. Someone who pulls it off after all. Winning this match against uh, Kento Momota of Japan in three games. 22 20 12 21 21 16 setting up an appointment tomorrow with the uh, shrieking k of india next match here is uh, men's doubles lee young day and yo young song against uh, the young danes anna skaroop and kim astrup that match will 
commence in five minutes time we'll be back then you're watching live coverage of the court two from Yonex Denmark Open 2014.
What's up? We're back here from uh, court number two at the uh, Jonings Denmark Open. Ready for men's doubles action. The top seats and the World Championship and Asian Games silver medalists, Jo Young Sung and Lee Young Day taking on Kim Astrup and um, Anders Skorup. the third meeting between these two pairs and um, as you might have guessed the Koreans have won both the previous they met last year here in um, Odense the Danes gave them a run for the money in the first game and lost quite comfortably in the second Lee Young Day, 26 years of age. And his partner, Yo Young Song, two years older. Players ready? Top seed in this tournament, and of course, ranked number one in the world ranking. favorites, heavy favorites before um, the World Championships as uh, Sechuan and uh, Aslan withdraw. Withdrew from, from the tournament, but uh, lost the final to fellow countrymen Shin Baek Chol and Ko Sung Hyun, whom both of these players had partnered before. And it just seems like Lee Young Day, he can't get this elusive men's doubles title. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Li Yong Te, Yu Yong Xiong. Lost Korea. one of the best finals ever left, in men's doubles to Fu Wen Kai, together with his former partner, Jong Jae Sung. And Play. hasn't really been playing well at the World Championships or the Olympics, except for mixed doubles, because of course he won the Olympic title in mixed double in 2008 in China together with uh, Li Hu Zhong. Together they won the Australian Open this year, the Indonesian Premier Series, Japan Open. And of course, silver medals at the Worlds and Asian Games. The Danes cannot present a resume like that, but uh, they played a great match yesterday. Beating uh, Sonoda and uh, Kamura. Kim Astrup, the left-hander, 22 years of age, whilst his partner in the is 25, currently ranked 22 in the world and uh, is number three in Denmark. Best result this year was uh, victory at Finnish International. Some promising results at um, All England and uh, Indonesia Open where they beat strong Chinese opposition. Interesting to see what they can come up with today against these 
formidable <laughs> Korean players. Good by the linesman. The Koreans are not that satisfied. Four, I wasn't three. really able to see it, but uh, as we discussed earlier, there were a lot of um, faulty line calls yesterday when uh, Victor Axelsen played Chen Long. I think Chen Long had four or five <coughs> successful challenges. Um, steady and stable men's doubles in the world right now. Lee Young Dae, Yo Young Song. Actually, quite an impressive performance in the semi-final of the World Championships, where they beat Carsten Mogensen and uh, Matthias Bo in uh, straight games. Yeah. That is clearly Dane's tactic to target uh, Yo Young Sung. He's a fantastic player, but um, it's still your best chance. Directing uh, Five, the shots four. at Lee Young Day is not advisable if you try to win the match. Five. General perception is that uh, he's simply too good. And then again, at the very biggest of events, he sometimes tend to get a little bit nervous, a little bit tense. Well played, well played. The Danes have started very well. Been able to withstand the defense and create some attacking opportunities, killing it on uh, Yo Young Song. As we saw Kimastro do it here. Oh! Excellent shot from uh, Yo Young Sung. Jumping oh. from the left side of court to the right side from where we're watching. One big long jump. Six. 
super Six. touch from uh, Lee Young Day. I think the Danes should uh, actually try to challenge Yo Young Song in the service situation as well. Definitely not push it uh, towards Lee Young Day. As well, and uh, three point lead for uh, the top seats. Service fault call. Didn't get it this time, but hoping to get it next time. It's become much better server, Rasmussen. Keeping the young day almost out of the rally. And that is the key to success for the Danes. And of course, uh, from the Korean point of view, their plan is to somehow get. Lee Young Day involved in the rallies as much as possible. Well, that match gives the Koreans a two point lead going into the interval here. As the coaches come on court, offering a little bit of advice. from uh, Facebook, Leon Boss, great name by the way, asks, I'm sure many people ask about the new scoring system, but do you think badminton will become a better sport for spectators when the 5 to 11 will be used, or will it remain the way it is now? Also, opinion on whether to add extra points after 11 points or not. And uh, it's a question uh, that um, we've had similar before, but um, I guess there will be a lot of discussion until a final decision is taken. 
I'm nine. a little mixed up, I have to admit. Um, in the beginning, I thought the, the 5 to 11 scoring system was the answer, but um, I'm a little bit worried for the lower tier tournaments where the matches are getting really, really short. Um, tends to be that um, the uh, challenge tournaments in the Asian circuit, the Southern America uh, circuit and, and the European Whoa. circuit, these tier tournaments, they experience bigger difference in uh, playing strength than in the Grand Prix and upwards Grand Prix Gold, Super Series, uh, Premier Series. And some of the matches are really, really short and I'm not sure that's exactly what we want. Um, I definitely am in favor of uh, a setting, adding a setting to 11 if that system is uh, decided. But um, more importantly, I think that um, the interval between rallies is so important that we that we uh, get that interval shortened. Come on. Come on. Because actually, the efficient playing time isn't that long, and if we manage to do that, then actually this system that we have now might do quite okay. Another thing I think should be looked into is the doubles uh, services, especially in the men's doubles, because the services are getting higher and higher, in my opinion. So... That's um, a matter that needs to be looked into as well, in my opinion, to... to uh, ensure that we don't have these long, long hours in the hall. But then again, 5 to 11, even if they're short matches, I mean, who's told us that the matches should not be short? Um, perhaps there's a lot of um, what we used to involved in this. Perhaps we could even operate with uh, two different scoring systems and um, that might be worth exploring so for me i'm i'm undecided uh, yet and um, my concern is the lower tier tournaments i'm pretty sure the system will be great for um, the super series Whilst I've been uh, talking and talking and talking, Lee Young-dae and uh, Yo Young-sung has taken a commanding lead. 16-10. And we must say that Yo Young-sung is uh, getting started right now. And the plan on of uh, targeting him is maybe a good strategy, but it's uh, really hard to execute because he's a world-class player himself, not entirely reliant on uh, Lee Yong Day. And there's a lot of expectations on playing with Lee, Lung, Lee Young Day because we saw Ko Sung Jun sort of crumble under the pressure and then go on to win the World Championship together with uh, Shin Bae Cho. He too started out really well with the Lee Young Day and winning tournaments on and on and on, but then failing at the big events, eventually leading to the split up of that combination. Same situation with um, Kim Dong Moon over a decade ago, widely regarded as uh, the world's best double player, mixed in men's, but uh, 
for a long time it was uh, not possible to find a partner that uh, suited him until he was partnered with uh, Ha Te Kwong. He used to play with Kang Kyun Jin, who's actually now the main coach of um, these two Koreans that we're seeing here. So it's not always easy to uh, find uh, the correct partner for the country's best player. Oh, what a fantastic shot from uh, Yu Yun Song. Totally outmaneuvering uh, the Danish pair. Would like to see the uh, spectators acknowledging the high level that is displayed here as the Koreans quite easily take the first game, Korean players ready on court whilst the Danes are still discussing the strategy for a second game with the coach Jesper Larsen. Trying to employ the right tactics and of course uh, tactics is a big part of it but uh, sometimes you just have to acknowledge that your um, skill level is uh, not enough yet, so tactics won't be able to make up for it. And I feel that um, this is the case here with the two Danes. But uh, they've been improving a lot over the last year. Great defense there. So, uh, two players for the future in uh, Danish men's doubles.
pace is just Three, one. too high for the Danes right now. Koreans used to playing and practicing in that pace. Sees things quicker, reads the game, reads the body position. Four, one. Better than the Danes. That's what we would expect beforehand. So no big surprise in that. Five, one. I would like Danes though to try to cut down on, on these mistakes, service return mistakes. And also play a little bit, uh, not entirely for this match, but also for the future. Flicker. And now it's the day's turn to look at the service judge. And I would actually like to see some uh, high speed camera pictures of uh, services to see how flat it's possible to serve with the legal service. for the evening program starting here at uh, five o'clock actually Excellent attack from uh, Yo Young Song. Jumping from the middle of the court. Okay. Broke a string his racket there. Nine, and a Skaroop. His name is actually Anders Skaroop Rasmussen. I think I'll continue calling him Skaroop because I like saying that much more. So the rest of the points here is uh, important, but not really that important because it's hard to imagine the Danes coming back from being down 3-10. Excellent deception. Service over, 11-3, interval. 
Eight points advantage for the Koreans. Here at the interval in the second game. Smash there for for uh, Danes consolation point. Effective drop shot again from uh, Yo Yong Sung. See that in slow, whether it was an okay service. Of course, the score here in uh, the second game 17 6. Not a whole lot of points for the Danes, but uh, they shouldn't put too much into that. It's more about what kind of rallies have they played. No shame in uh, losing to two players that are. 
better than themselves. Of course, the Koreans happy to get an easy win. Get more and more accustomed to the playing conditions. The young Dane is that one. Next match coming up here on uh, court two is uh, Carsten Mortensen and uh, Matthias Bo against the uh, Chinese combination of uh, Kang Jun and uh, Chung Liu. So stay tuned after this match. This is uh, live coverage of uh, court number two from the Yonex Denmark Open 2014. Typical example of uh, garbage time. Yu Yang So not really entirely concentrated. Oh, I was not really concentrated myself either because the service was called off. Is the service fault? The, the Koreans they have known for a long time that they were going to win this match. Thus. 100% concentration is not needed in every rally. Another excellent drop shot from Yo Yong Sung. Very efficient shot to prevent the opponents from uh, backing too far away from the net in order to retrieve the attack. 12 match points, only one is needed. No call from the service judge and uh, no need for that. Just uh, say thank you for the match and uh, clear the court so we can have another men's doubles coming up here in just a few minutes. Convincing display from uh, the top seats, progressing to the quarterfinals here in um, Denmark Open. Playing either Gideon Fernald de Marcus Kido or the German combination of Max Schwenger and Joshua Schwerbonne. That match is to be played later on one of the other courts. We'll take a short break and we'll be back with the next men's doubles or perhaps we get an interview with um, the Danish pair that lost this match, Kim Astrup and Anders Skarub.
here with uh, men's doubles action from uh, court number two. Danish Olympic uh, silver medalists from uh, Odense, Matthias Bo, and from uh, Greve, Karsten Monsen. The number three seats in this okay, tournament take on uh, Chang Liu and uh, Kang Jun of uh, China. Pleasure of uh, watching the Chinese play yesterday against uh, Lukasz Moran and uh, Wojciech uh, Szkodlacek of Poland, and it was an easy victory for the Chinese combination in straight games. Ranked number 28 in the world currently. Playing the Danes, home favorites. Carsten Mons and Matthias Bo ranked currently as uh, number three, but has been ranked number one in the world previously. Won an easy first round yesterday against uh, Danish youngsters Schmidt and Mortensen. Straight games. Danes are considered to be veterans. At the moment, Matthias Bo, 34 years old, and partner Karsten Monsen, 31. Very experienced, has played together for 10 years. The best um, result here in 2014, probably the bronze medal at uh, the World Championship. On my left, Matthias Bu, Karten Mogensen, Denmark. Kang Yu to share to Matthias Bu, level play. But also victorious in the Indy Open Super Series. Only tournament victory of the, the year for the two Danes. the Danes as uh, clear favorites in this match. Should be able to uh, take the control of the rallies. And uh, I think they're directing most of their attack at um, Kang Jun. The younger of them. Sorry, the older of the two players, 24 years of age, whilst Zhang Liu, only 22. Oh! 
Chang Liu already qualified for the quarterfinals in the mixed doubles together with the partner Bao Yixin. as always looking to benefit from no very strong skills in the service situation nice interception from uh, Matthias Ball Bo had to go undergo uh, surgery for a stomach problem in uh, the spring, forcing him to withdraw from uh, the Thomas Cup. And I feel that uh, that break in uh, training and competition might have. Um, influenced the results uh, or perhaps not the results but then the level of play at the world championships lost quite easily to uh, Lee Yong Dae Yo Yong Song well played by Chong Liu interesting to see if uh, the Chinese on their hand will uh, direct a lot of the attack at uh, Matthias Bo. It has in recent times often been uh, a good strategy, but I feel that uh, over the last three, four years, Matthias has developed, especially in pressure situations. dominant player on court. defense The second serve Seven. from uh, Chang Liu was considerably worse than the first one. First one was actually good. Great 
control there. Smash from uh, Chen Liu. Chinese pair has won the China Masters. As that is their best result from uh, 2014. Here, a two point lead as the Danes go into the interval. Jiang Jun pointing at uh, the service judge, feeling that uh, the Danes are utilizing an illegal service. to the two Chinese coaches and they are definitely not on the same line in this matter here. But uh, fortunately no challenge possibilities on uh, court two. Okay. I still think that there's quite a big difference in um, playing strength, the two Chinese players in between, and can't help thinking, uh, I hope the Chinese don't get the idea of pairing Chong Liu with uh, Liu Xiaolong. I think that could be a really, really lethal combination. Good run of 
points for the Danes there. development when uh, Bowen Morganson is playing. Quite short rallies, a lot of emphasis on the service situation. from uh, Chung Liu. Jerseys. Sponsored by my dinner, I think. These two pairs, Red Bull and uh, Kelsen's butter cookies. Joyce. to hit the failures there. <laughs> Not so often we see uh, interceptions by uh, Carsten Mortensen at the net. But he can do it and he's become much better at it compared to when he started his uh, international career. Play 
Two points away from taking the first game. And a satisfied Danish coach on his way on court. Here's the final rally. Now the second, last rally. Excellent flicker from uh, Morgensen. game. Oh, very alert by uh, Mohansen here. Shows his uh, front court skills. I guess the idea for both pairs will be to try to get the attack. Mohansen on a roll. That's uh, the net player. Yeah. Very hard to get a precise lift when you're on your way back. One came up too short for the Danes. It's a short service return again. This time over the hip. Great rush from uh, Matthias Ball here. The Danes controlling the service situation at the moment. Well, for 
Chang Liu and Kang Jun, when they've been able to put it below the tape in the backhand of uh, Morgensen, forcing him to lift. The danger is that they put it a little bit too long and play it into the forehand of uh, Matthias Bo. Got lucky here. Smash from uh, Chang Liu. Four, Cold, six. good, but uh, the linesman looked as if he just needed a few seconds of uh, decision time. on the Chinese side there, just dropping the service return below the tape. Second game. Control by uh, Matthias Ball here. Gets it back at uh, Kang Jun. needed a ball at the net covering for the backhand of uh, Karsten Morrison another flicker excellent defense 
deceptive defense from uh, Carsten Mortensen. Gives the Danes a four-point lead going into the interval here in this second game. like Chen Jin or Cooking Kid. But European players blossom at older ages, like 30, 26 to 32. Joachim Fischer, Mark Sweebler. Well, I think it's got something to do with how much they practice uh, throughout their life. I think generally you can say that Asians start practicing a lot. Um, start practicing on a professional level at a much earlier age than European players. Great flat game here from uh, Kang and Liu. Uh, generally, the European players uh, are much more focused on school in the, the younger years. It's important to, to finish school and be able to start an education together with playing badminton. And uh, slightly, this attitude is, is changing, at least it is in Denmark, where we try to set up systems so that um, the most talented players can start practicing more in an earlier age. So I think the amount of life practice is um, it's important where the Asians reach the critical number of practice hours much earlier in their life than the European players. to Kasten Mortensen, who has to play a soft shot from below the tape, and uh, that gives actually the, the Chinese pair some possibilities. from uh, the Chinese pair winning seven of the last eight points since the interval. We'll probably soon see the Danes try to get an uh, interruption in the game, a little break, drying the court, toweling down.
Chinese are totally on a roll right 16, now. 12. can see some of our viewers asking about uh, links to stream from uh, court one and the thing is that stream from court one is uh, deal blocked in uh, many countries at least it is in Denmark finally a point for the Danes Service return just hit the net cord and uh, was impossible to get a good return away from Carsten Mortensen. It's a very, very short lift. to get their game together here if they want to finish it off in, in straight games whilst the Chinese trying to hold on to their lead from Kanjun. Still alive. Oh, net court. Oh, a fantastic rally. Eventually, the Chinese wins it. rally Danes could have closed the gap to 16-17 but now still a three-point cushion for the Chinese pair Touches the net court. looks as if they're not really sure what happened here. I mean, we had everything under control and now we're trailing three points. Well, that's a nice attack.
Poole here. Pouring up on his services. 18, 19. One at a time, actually. Third shot directly into the forehand of uh, Matthias Paul. 19 The first one. Inside the line. Serge over, 21 oh. Kang and Liu fighting to stay in the match.
look at that shot. Excellent. Next match on uh, court number two is men's singles between Tanang Sak Sensum Bunsuk from uh, Thailand. He's playing Chen Long. But uh, before that match, we hope to get a live interview with uh, the Danish men's double, Matthias Bo and uh, Carsten Mogensen. So uh, stay tuned for that. We'll continue the live stream here from uh, court two, but uh, take a break here in the commentary box. We'll be back with uh, women's single Liu Xin of China against uh, Ratchanok Intanon. But uh, both the matches, uh, men's singles, Sainzum Bontuk against Chen Long and uh, Chen Yukun of China against Bruce Liberty will be streamed. So, See you back in a little while. I'm here in the mix zone with Matthias Bo and Carsten Mogensen from Denmark who just won the second match at the Denmark Open. Congratulations on your victory. What are your thoughts of the game? Um, it, was, it was a tough match for us. We, we have, have a lot of uh, respect for the Chinese pairs. We know they are quite strong and can play really fast. But uh, we, we tried to, to block instead of play, play fast with them. Uh, it succeeded in almost two sets. Uh, but uh, in the second game we played a little bit too slow and tried to, to find the easy winner. Uh, but after that, we, we managed to, to go back on track and, uh, and we won in two uh, sets. So, we, of course, we're very happy. Yeah, now you're in the quarterfinals. Is that a relief? Uh, yeah, obviously, it's always a relief to, to win our matches. Um, yeah, we, we are, of course, hungry for more here on home soil. Um, Tomorrow will be another tough match, um, so of course we're delighted to, to be through to the quarterfinal. Yeah, you yeah, maybe going to face uh, Kim and Kim from Korea, who is whom you have a good uh, record against. Uh, how can you take advantage of that? Uh, yeah, of course we have a good uh, record, but uh, tomorrow we can't use that for, for anything. Um, it's a new match for tomorrow, so we, we have to prepare and try to, to play our best because. If we don't do that, they, they are too strong, uh, but um, I think we, we have the plan to, to do it, so um, we, we will look forward for tomorrow. Can you maybe tell us what that plan is? <laughs> uh, it's just to try to, to play our very best. Thank you.
to play.
In about 10 minutes, Mohammed Hassan and Kendra Shishawa from Indonesia will be signed to the show. Thank you. 
Bubbles, please welcome from Korea, Shamina and Kim Soyu.
Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Chris Benedict, France. And on my left, Rudy Chen, China. Chris Benedict to serve Lobo Lake.
Part two to twenty seconds. Part two to twenty seconds.
Welcome is over. One, all. Thank <laughs> you. 
for two to twenty seconds. For two to twenty seconds.
Service over, 14, 16.
Please welcome the technical officials to door number two. Welcome back here to Fairytale City of Odense for ladies single action. Liu Xin of uh, China against uh, former world champion Rachinak Intanan of uh, Thailand. Players get ready to play. Lucian, ranked 25 in the world, but uh, has been as high as number five in 2011. <laughs> 24 years of age from uh, Liaoning province, province in uh, China. Won her first round against uh, Danish uh, Anatea Madsen in two straight games ladies and gentlemen it's not played that right, many tournaments Lu Xin, in uh, 2014 only six 
appearances and uh, two victories in China International Challenge and uh, China Masters where she defended her title from 2013. Ratchanak Intenon back in Denmark after second round exit at uh, the World Championships. She was the defending it's champion over. but has been one, hospitalized no. up to that event and uh, I can see she's got quite a heavy strapping on her uh, right leg so let's hope she's okay and that it's just a precaution internet just 19 years of age it's over. holds one, several oh. records as uh, youngest ever Youngest ever champion of the BWF Junior Championships. Won that in 2009 for the first time at the age of 14. And also, as some of you might remember, youngest ever singles finalist at the All England Open last year, 2013, where she lost the final to Tina Baum. And... Uh, the youngest ever singles champion of the world won that in 2013 in Guangzhou 18 years six months and six days Two, one. at the time of the final internet currently ranked fifth in the world seated fifth in this tournament Three, one. has been all the way up to number two and uh, got through to the second round through a victory over Estonian Katie Tomov. Straight games as well. Her best results here in uh, 2014 are runners up in um, Four, Indonesia, lost to Li Shurui, and um, also runners up in uh, Korea Open where she again lost to Wang Yihan, whom she's got a really bad head-to-head -head score against. Also states that uh, Wang Yihan is her idol player. So, of course, um, very hard to Five, beat the one. player that you think is uh, admirable. And uh, also off to quite a slow start here in the first game against Liu Xin, but, but we've seen that on a number of occasions that uh, She's quite a slow starter. taken quite a dip as it was announced that uh, Lin Dan unfortunately had to withdraw from uh, this tournament and also next week's French Open due to an injury a lot of the spectators had been looking forward to a match between Lin Dan and uh, Jan Jorgensen it's not gonna happen this time Shot it's from over. Uh, internet, Six, two. but uh, called out. I'm not in a good position, but um, my first reaction was that it was in. into none in good shape she's so much fun to watch excellent movement on court fantastic technical skills 
So many deceptive shots. Very, very hard to read for the opponent. I remember Tina Baum telling that uh, Four, when she had these upper hand shots, she had no possibility of reading what kind of shot would um, come from uh, Internet. There from uh, Lucian. Currently ranked as number five amongst the Chinese girls. Above her is uh, Eight, four. Li Han, Li Shurui, Wang Shishan, and uh, Wang Yihan. but uh, too close to the line and uh, clearly wide. Nine, four. to uh, find the lines into none here in uh, the beginning of the match. Wants to okay. have the shell changed. Yeah. That is not agreed by um, Lucian. Another mistake. Seven-point lead for Lucian here at the interval in the first game. to see if uh, Rachana can get some of her play going. 12, Not in this rally. Four. Ask for a no, shuttle change no. one more time. You can see the strapping on her right leg there.
long from uh, Liu Xin. Six, twelve. And quite solid. The Chinese girl so far. Players had two fairly easy matches yesterday. In about 15 minutes, the middle of the loop, and 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 the middle of the loop, Having really big problems finding the lines. 15, 6. I think there might be a little uh, drift from Internet towards uh, Lucian. We have television production here, and that means that uh, some small doors are open over. in Internet's side of the hall. Shots coming from uh, Internet. It's important for Internet to regroup for the second game. This one is gone. Save is over. Nine, 19. Game. 
first game won by Liu Xin, 21-9. First game, a very easy victory for uh, Liu Xin. Basically, just a compilation of uh, mistakes from uh, Internet, but of course, that's also thanks to the very solid performance of uh, Liu Xin. Talking here to her coach, Chen Jin. Apparently, Still has some things that he wants to emphasize. Second game, double play. Game is over. One, go. and must first of all cut down on the mistakes but also try to up the pace a bit in order to challenge Liu Xin and Three, what a terrible two. push again seems totally all form the former world champion But um, the outcome was still the same. A mistake. Let's keep an eye on when Liu Xin is winning a point by herself. <laughs> that, that, that was a short period of time before that two. happened. Excellent reverse slice from a uh, Chinese player. So it's been 
the net shot there. A good smash. That's how we like to see Ratchanak into none. Looks like an uh, easy win for Liu Xin. Ratchet not, not able to get five. anything going at all. Tries to change the shuttle one more time, but uh, not allowed. We might remind you that flash photography is not allowed. This time it's on the over. line. Six, ten. So it's a do or die playing style right now. Doesn't look prepared Six, to ten. play the long rallies that are needed to beat Lucian. But then again, we've seen her been down on previous occasions and suddenly finding her game. Excellent play there from uh, Liu Xin. Five points ahead now. And, uh, the Thailand coach uh, seems reasonably so probably not. Court two, twenty seconds. Court two, twenty seconds. Totally one hundred percent ready. Definitely not in her best shape, but um, perhaps also 11, the right six. leg is uh, troubling her. It's over. 7, 11. Oh. 
Service fault, service fault, call. Service over. Now she's called service fault. The racket is not pointed in a downwards direction when hitting the shuttle. Thirteen seven. And there's no pace in this game whatsoever. Except for separated rallies once in a while. This one is quite good. Excellent touch there. Ten, thirteen. Encouraging gestures from uh, the coach of Ratchinak Internet. Chen Jin on the other side. Sitting calm and collected in his chair. rally of the match that we've got going right now. Oh, excellent reverse slice again. Great retrieval by Internet. Wonder how the players are reacting to this long rally. Wow. Oh, and she got lucky. For the last shot, hit the net cord and stop, and uh, immediately asking the umpire Eleven, to towel down. You. You. It's easy to imagine that um, Internet has tried to force the practice after being hospitalized up to the worlds and. Uh, then suffering uh, injury to her right leg due to 11, 13. too intense practice Play. too quickly. And if you have the feeling that you're not really physically fit and ready to walk the whole distance you tend to ah! over. 14, take some bigger chances than you normally would Oh, 
Lane. Inside the line there, and now just a one-point game. 13-14. Seems I buried Internet's chances in this tournament a little bit too early. Yeah. Was down 13-7. We won six of the last seven points. Excellent shot there. Fourteen all. Fourteen apiece now. <laughs> that is over. 15, no matter what happens, 14. we're having more of a match now here in the second game. Intenan has found bits and pieces of uh, her game. Wants to have the court mopped. 15, and, uh, 14. Play. That adds to my suspicion that she's... Uh, not really trusting her own stamina. But what a fantastic Sorry. shot that is. 15, oh. Showing with her body and racket a shot to the forehand of Liu Xin. And then, in the nick of time, twisting it. Now, fold it again. Racket not pointing in downwards direction. Sometimes I wish we had. Double service judges that were that alert. She's not getting it for free, Lucian. Oh. Rachinak struggling, but uh, fighting with everything she's got. Trying to find a way of winning this match. Service over. 17, 16. This is definitely more settled. In the hole. It's over. A very accurate judge drop it there. So it's been a long time since we've last seen 17. a shot oh. going long from her. Once again denied to towel down. Great shot there.
18, 17. White. Oh, what a fantastic retrieval. And suddenly the audience woke up. Finally, rallies to enjoy here in the Odense Sports Park. 1917. Amazing. First, Liu Xin retrieves a smash. Just crawls over the net. And Internet is there and makes this cross drop. So it is over. 18, 19. Tough situation for Lucien. Won the first game so convincingly and had a big lead, and suddenly it's gone. And she must be wondering what on earth happened. And this is not the time of uh, the match to try to play accurate shots at the you, lines. You. Keep it safe. Uh, probably would have been quicker to change it, change the shuttle. All Internet wanted was a little break before the service. And now we have a match point for Lucian. Match point, 19. Three easy points. I must say it would be a deserved win if she was to take this match. here rooting for a third game Good retrieval by Shin and that's wide. No, it's a good. Stays in. And now game point for uh, Rachina Gintana. What an amazing development here 21, in the second game. 20. Fourteen seven up of the last 21 points played. One game point now. Ah! Yeah. This time she read it, Lucian. 21, all. The pattern was the same. Cross net shot from the forehand, lift and a cross smash. But Lucien was ready. Oh, way too high service. And that's out. 22-21. Fall was okay. 
And the umpire confirming the call for Internet. She hoped so much that it would be in. And now another match point. And this time the stretch match. Immediate winner. Second game point. 2 minutes we're ready for a decider here between Rachnag Intanan and Lucian Second game won by Rachnag Intanan 24 22 one game all She just hung in there At times it wasn't really pretty but uh, from 13-7 Intanan were able to put pressure on uh, Lucian I don't know if she got a little bit too comfortable, the Chinese girl, but uh, now everything is open again. I still think Lucian has a great chance of winning this match because Intanan looks really, really tired. However, she got her game to bet together. She still made some mistakes, but not as many as in the first game and almost none on the back court. So interesting to see the beginning of this third game that is coming up in just a short while seconds. Uh, live coverage of uh, court two from the Yonex Denmark Open Premier Super Series 2014. This is the deciding game between Rachnag Intanan of Thailand and Lucian of China. Intanan came back from a hopeless position, down one game and trailing 7-13 in the second. Still managed to get a game together and force a deciding game here. For the first time, One, taking the lead no. in this match. <laughs> Lucian has been Two, solid throughout no. the match, but... Uh, she has not been spectacular in any way. She's been returning what uh, Intanan had thrown at her until midway through second game. Now she's under pressure. 
And that's her response. It's over. One, two. Way too short uh, lift from Inton, and I think we'll see that here in the replay. Oh, that's perhaps the rally before that. Wow. And so it's over. Three, one. Those shots were out in the first game. Now they're kissing the lines. compared to what she done in uh, the later part of uh, the second game. It's too risky to hope that uh, Rachinat ah! will make the mistakes for her. Four, and three. as I say that, of course, immediately a gift to Lucian. Try to play a tight spinning net shot. And another one. Five, three. Good defense from Lucien. Excellent three. play. Very, very accurate um, defensive shot from her forehand side. Like this anymore. Change the shuttle, please. Okay. And the umpire Five, put his eight. foot down. No more discussion about changing shuttles. And I mean, all the shuttles should be good, so why it's opposed over. to changing Nine, it? Five. Net shot from the forehand now, Liu Xin. Ten, five. Excellent play there. And she's again taking a 
big lead. I'm not riding into and off this time, but uh, look diffi looks difficult. 11-5. 11 11-5, interval, change in. And the reason that I think it looks difficult is because she's probably, Lucien has probably discussed with Chen Jin during the interval between the second and the third game how to proceed in this match exploiting that uh, Internan seems a little bit tired but uh, still fighting for a chance to stay in this tournament here the Premier Super Series 4-2, 20 seconds. Fourth of the two, season. Last one is uh, China Open, played in November. Three minutes. So far, the longest match in uh, Malay's singles has been 54. This one is going to be the longest match of the tournament so far. 13-5. It's getting harder and harder to see Internet Internet coming back in uh, this match. Lucian will be more focused now. Four. No easy points. Service over. Six, Hold it there. 13. By the umpire. Do not allow to hit the shuttle on the opponent's side of the net. You can finish your shot if you hit it initially on your own side. this 7 13 straight down the line this was where it all fell apart for you Shin in uh, the second game service so over 14 7 you she got that covered Oh, feels it necessary to tell you that she shouldn't exaggerate her 15 7 celebration and I don't see her throwing this big lead away one more time I don't think has the energy to climb back. Eight, fifteen.
she's not giving in without a fight. Still five point lead for uh, Lucian. Also taking a little bit of a walk around the court there. As you can see, her possible opponents enter court one. We know this match will play either Wang Yihan or Ya Chu Sing. Not Ya Chu Sing, there's no one of that name. Su Ya Ching of um, Taiwan. Call from the, the linesman. all the shots all the ideas Rachanak today she hasn't been able to put it all together in the correct way Service is over 19 11 Played by Liu Xin. And now 20, nine match, point, match points never. for the Chinese player. Nine opportunities to book a place in the quarterfinal. Hinton and survived the first. 12 20. in a row. 13, 20. Yep. With the form she's displayed today. Would take a major breakdown on the Chinese side if she were to achieve that. defeats uh, Rachanag Intanan, the fifth seed. Three games convincingly 
in game one and three. 21 9, 22 24, 21 13. Here's the decisive rally. Solid performance by uh, Liu Xin. Ready for the next match in the tournament. Internet has a bit of a time to recover. And uh, we'll see if uh, we can get a live interview with the Internet. Hopefully coming up here in a short while. Next match on uh, court two is men's doubles. Fu Haifeng Zhengnan of China taking on Sheng Muli Tsai Xiezin of uh, Chinese Taipei. So stay tuned here. We'll be back in a short while. Welcome to the mix zone. I got a Thai player, Rajanak Itan Intanton. You lost today in three games. Are you tired now? Yes, uh, because the game uh, also Thai and uh, Ch Chinese also stronger player. You had a very good second set and won it. What did you do right in the second set? The second set, I think that uh, I tried to thing right it's like attending and then I feel like relaxed more relaxed because uh, in the first game maybe uh, I think too much about the game and it's like easy to uh, and there's a lot of people who are cheering for you and clapping how how was it to play in the arena uh, I want to say thank thank you for the sharing me up and then also sorry about the today game because maybe today I di didn't win, but next time I hope uh, I try my best to get the champion. Perfect. Thank you very much, Richard. Thank you. Always uh, very polite. Rajinak uh, Internet. Clearly, she didn't have uh, the best of days, but uh, she gave everything she had in her today. Now we're ready for um, men's doubles play. Fu Haifang. Jungnan in the yellow jerseys against uh, in um, I don't know the color of pink. Tsai Xiezin and uh, Sheng Mu Li. The two pairs have met on one earlier occasion. It was in the Swiss Open this year with a 
21-17 victory for uh, Fu and Zhang. Fu, of course, uh, vastly experienced. Four-time world champion. 2006 in Madrid, 9 in Hyderabad, India, 2010 Paris, 2011 London, and uh, in 2012 he and his uh, former partner Chai Yun finally got that elusive uh, Olympic gold medal as they defeated Matthias Boa, Karsten Morgensen in the final of uh, the London Olympic Games. Fu Haifang now 31 years of age. Partnering uh, Changnan, 24 years of age, and very, very skillful mixed doubles player, also an Olympic gold medalist, as he also Ladies won the mixed doubles in uh, London. Two times Chai world champion, Chinese, 11 in London, and, and on my left, two Chang months Nan. ago here in uh, Copenhagen in Denmark. China. Best results for the combination is a runners up place in uh, Switzerland. And they're currently ranked 23rd in the world. Lee inside. Very interesting combination from uh, Taipei. Lee. The younger of the two, 28 years of age, whilst his partner, Sai Chiazin, is uh, 32. Originally, he uh, decided to retire after playing mixed doubles, but um, was talked into taking up men's doubles together with uh, Sheng Yun Li, and that has resulted in um, a world ranking as uh, number six currently. And the best results of uh, 2014 were was uh, runner-up placements in both Australia Super Series and Singapore Super Series. First round here in uh, Odense, they beat Michael Fuchs, Johannes Schuttler, 23-21, 21-15, to book a place here in um, the second round. Fu Haifang probably looking to get uh, Jung to the net, but uh, definitely also capable of playing with Fu at the net. Jung, very, very skillful backcourt player, but uh, <coughs> doesn't really have the same power smash as uh, Fu Haifang. combination lying uh, a lot on the service situation and their flat game skills
Excellent start for uh, Jiangnan Fu Haifeng. Had a fairly easy match yesterday against the upcoming Danish pair. Skills from uh, Tsai and uh, Zheng Li. shot from Cheng uh, Li here as he managed to get it uh, was tight he managed in a way to get it below the tape in uh, the backhand of Fu Haifeng Playing uh, Mohammed Hassan and Five, such a one. Ten. The winners of um, Asian Games and uh, men's doubles. And here's uh, the interval. Jiang and Zhao having a six point lead. 11 5. Of course, for a pair from uh, Chinese Taipei, it's not really the start they hoped for. They lost convincingly in uh, Swiss Open, and it seems that uh, nothing much has changed. So they really need to come up with uh, something else, something new. If they are to book a spot in the quarterfinals tomorrow, 
starting uh, half past three local time. We will, of course, uh, cover the matches from court two tomorrow as well. Television coverage from five o'clock local time of um, court one. By uh, sight. Except it was his partner. <laughs> Playing a uh, little bit of a counter attacking style now. I don't know if it's. Uh, by choice or by need. Good coverage from uh, Sheng Li. Just read that long before past the net. Six point in a row for 14. the pair from Chinese Taipei before this point scored by um, Fu and Zhang. trailing by so many points and you try to close the gap then it's so easy to lose the focus just a little bit when you catch up on your opponents called wide Shang not satisfied 16 12 but only challenge possibilities on court one in this tournament. Over. 17, 14. Eight 
15, 14. Strong attack there from uh, Poon Junk. <coughs> and again, opened up a five point cushion. First game point 16, survived. 16. Still four more left for um, the Chinese combination. So it's four cold and uh, first game to Fu Haifeng Jiangnan, 21-16. Court two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. Ready? Second game. Double. Play. Second game. Hey. Time is over. One left. If I were to coach the Taiwanese. Here. I would suggest they try to get a little bit more on the attacking game. Even though they have a really, really strong defense, I don't see them holding off um, Fu Haifang and Zhang Nan. Sheng Moli and Tsai uh, Xichin 
actually number one in the um, destination Dubai ranking. Have done best of all pairs in the uh, eight Super Series played so far. This, of course, being uh, the ninth. $600,000 prize money in uh, Denmark Open, the richest prize money ever offered in a Danish badminton tournament. Fu Haifang, Zhang Nan, number 13, and with a fair chance of uh, qualifying for uh, action in uh, Dubai. Above them, uh, three Indonesian combinations, and uh, as you know, only two players or pairs from each country is allowed in each category, so you need to get past four more pairs to qualify for the season-ending finales. Five, ten. service. Five, Let's see if we get four. it in the picture again. Look at the le right arm of uh, Fu Haifang. Almost horizontal. this time. Six, five. Oh. Oh. Time is over. Six, oh. Too high, short serve from uh, Zhang Nan. Seven. Six. And uh, one of the key competencies, compet competencies of um, Chinese Taipei pair. Oh, what a mess. People running around in all areas of the court amongst each other, but uh, in the end, Eight, six. good control from uh, Tsai, and it just stays inside.
And take a look at uh, the right arm of uh, Fu Haifeng. Goes up just before he serves. Definitely an illegal service. An all square here in uh, the second game. Service over. Ten. Very alert by uh, Jiang Nan, who's been doing well in this match. Two point advantage for um, the Chinese pair going into the interval here. And you're still watching uh, live coverage of uh, Court 2 from uh, Yonix Denmark Open 2014. Here's the last rally. Good third shot from uh, Jiang Nan. By uh, 10, 11. Tai Chi Feeling that um, Fu and Zhang are having this match under control. I might be wrong, but um, that's the feeling I'm sitting here with. 13, that uh, they can up the pace when they want it. Good service from. Uh, Fu Haifang, but as we've seen, probably not entirely legal. 12, from uh, oh. Lee and Tai. Straight points for um, Tai and Li. I can't help um, comparing uh, Jiang Nan to Chai Yun. And uh, I feel that um, had Chai Yun been uh, on the court, he would have put, he would have been able to put more pressure after um, Fu Haifang smashes. A bit more aggressive as a front court player compared to Jiang Nan. 
And uh, curiously, since I stated that I felt the Chinese were in control of this match, they haven't won a point. 17, 13. Looks like we are heading for a third and uh, deciding game here. And this men's doubles between Tsai Li from uh, Chinese Taipei and uh, Fu Haifeng Jiangnan. This one is uh, long and six game points for uh, the pair in pink. Take second the second game, game 21-15. And now you would say that anything could happen here in uh, the third game. interesting to think about what actually makes uh, Fu Haifeng continue to play. He's uh, won everything he could possibly win together with his uh, former partner Chai Yun. Why is he still playing? Is it the love of the game? the economical advantages of uh, still being a top badminton player. Does he dream of uh, going to Rio for another Olympics? Would be his fourth Olympics if they were to qualify. I must say I don't see them uh, as uh, medal contenders in, uh, in Rio. Does he dream of winning a world championship Final title game. with Level. a different partner? Play. We've seen, uh, for instance, uh, Tony Gunnarvan winning the Olympics with uh, Kando Vijaya, winning the world championship with uh, Sigurd Buriato and Halim Harianto. Three major championships with uh, three different partners amazing achievement oh, for Tony Kunavan oh. is that what motivates uh, yeah, Fu Haifeng Chai Yun One, oh. <laughs> trying to win another major title with a different partner Two, one. Time is 
over. Three, two. Stringing his racket there. Ruining his uh, possibility of um, making a good smash. Five, four. Third shot by uh, Fu Hai Fang. attack from uh, Sheng Wuli, unfortunately for him and his partner. The last shot ended up in the middle of the net. Eight, a very uneven match. 
upper hand changing from one pair to another. Pulled wide. Sai and Lee definitely not happy with that decision, but uh, not overruled. And we have a change of ends going into the last part of the third game here in uh, Odense. Uh, attack from uh, Jiang Nan here. It looks like uh, they're trying to up the pace a little bit. And has opened up a five point lead. 13 8. Seems to me that um, Fu Haifeng is um, keeping up uh, the right amount of focus. A little bit too low quality in his uh, shots at the moment. And uh, alert in the front court. Emphasizing that Sai must be ready and saying that uh, next time he will give him a warning. In my opinion, that's a warning in itself. Hey. 
is over. 12-16. Fu Haifang definitely struggling. It would be wise of um, the Chinese Taipei players to target him as much as possible in um, the game. Over. Short service. 12. Commanding lead here in the, the third game for uh, Fu Haifang and uh, Jiang Nan. Looks set to book a spot in uh, the quarterfinals against uh, Hendra Sachiwan, Mohamed Hassan. Excellent smash there. 20, match point, 14. Key competence of uh, Fu Haifang. Giving him and his partner six match points here in this uh, second round match at the Yonex Denmark Open 2014. Cyan Lee survived the first one. Victory for Fu uh, Haifang and uh, Zhang Nan in three games. 21-16, 15-21, 21-16 again in the third game. And they're through to tomorrow's quarterfinals against uh, Sechewan and Asan. Here's the final point. Satisfied uh, Chinese coaches. Of course, we still have uh, one match to go here on uh, court two. That's the match between uh, Ki Jong Kim and uh, Kim Sa Rang of Korea playing another Chinese pairing, Biao Chai and uh, Hong Wei. But um, that match is going to be streamed. Uh, and here from the commentary box, we're saying uh, thank you very much for watching our stream today. We'll be back again tomorrow with the live coverage of uh, Court 2 from Yonex Denmark Open 2014. Live stream beginning at uh, half past three local time. Thank you for watching. And 
Good night here from Odense. Ready to play?
Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kim Sarang, Lee Young Kim, Korea. And on my left, Hong Wei, Chai Biao, China. Kim Sar Sarang, serve to Chai Biao, love all, play. <laughs> over one love. Serves out, gold serves over. One all. Zola, four, two. Or all. Serves over five, four. Serves over.
over. Seven, nine. Serves over, eight, ten. Serves over, eleven, eight, interval. Two twenty seconds, court two twenty seconds. Eleven eight. Serves over ten twelve. Zoa, eleven, fourteen.
Seventeen, twelve. Serves over eighteen fourteen. Out, serves over, 15, 19. Game on by Chobia Hongwei 21 16.
Chebby. You. Okay. Are you ready? Ready? Second game. Love all. Play. Serves over. One love. Serves over. Three, six.
Serves over seven six. is over seven eight Nine, eight. Ten, nine. Ten, nine. Interval. Court two, twenty seconds. Court two, twenty seconds. Thank you, Lanches. Eleven ten. Play. Serve is over. Eleven all. Eleven. 
Eleven all. Serve is over. Twelve, thirteen. Hold it. Serve is over. 14, 12. Play. Serves over. 13, 14. Serves over fourteen, fifteen. Serve is over. 15, 18.
17, 18. Match point eighteen. Match won by Chai Biao, Hong Wei 21-16, 21-19.